Party time in Las Vegas for the Utah State Aggies. It was a remarkable nightcap to the basketball action. First round of the 2019 Air Force Reserve Mountain West Women's Basketball Championship. The game of the day just finished Utah State. Tops Colorado State 62 to 59. I'm joined here on stage by the Aggies of Utah State head coach Jerry Finkbeiner, Eliza West, a junior, and Shannon Duffsey, also a junior. Coach, let's start with you. You guys build a sizable lead a couple of times, but credit to Ryan Williams crew, CSU battled back multiple times, closed it to within a French fry there. You guys uh, really dazzle the fans here, got it close, but you guys came away. Credit to Colorado State, the, oh, the way they play. It, it definitely was, Jesse, and I, it reminded me of a throwback about four years ago when we were a really low seed, and they were one or two, and we took them down to the wire. And, uh, you know, it's tournament time, and it's about how many Ws, but not not how, how pretty it is, but how many Ws there are. And, and uh, Colorado State did a re great job isolating our defense, and uh, just one-on-one -on -one game, kind of like the old Magic Johnson style, and, and we just could not stop it. Uh, their kids, number 23, number 35, just really did a good job in isolation plays as we're seeing right now on the tape. That's just kind of what happened all night long, and we're a little bit smaller the guard, and they took advantage of it. Really did a good job with their inside game, Coach. They, they pounded it down low. Brewster was out, so and then they went outside and were able to hit some key shots. But I think credit to you guys, you hit those key free throws down the stretch, and that was as big as anything to negate the damage that Colorado State was able to do right there. Yeah, it really was, Jesse. Uh, Olivia West uh, hit the last four from the line, if I remember right. Shannon Duffy hit a couple. Those are our last six free throws, and uh, we needed those, obviously. I mean, it went down, and we had to do some situational things defensively that, that really was crunch time, and I don't know for sure if we executed it to the great, uh, uh, you know, uh, of, of, of getting a, uh, a finish the way we wanted, but, um, you know, in the end, a three-point win, yeah. that's okay. We'll move forward. Shannon, let's talk about your teammate, Rachel Brewster. She was <laughs> sensational yep. in the first half. Nine points, led you guys. How key was her play to getting you guys out to that eight-point lead in the first half? Yeah, um, Rachel's been a big part of our um, team, like, for the, for the whole four years. But especially in the last, what, four or five games, she's really picked up her game. Um, I think it's got to her that this is her last, you know, this is her last go. And she, like, credit to her, she has really picked up. And she has been a big... Uh, big influence on our team. She's like a leader and shows us on the court. So, um, yeah, she she really had a big um, input into our lead there. Not able, or she went down low, had some post play, and then right here the steal goes yep. coast to coast, gets the <laughs> offensive rebound, and goes right in. You love to see that effort, don't you, Eliza? Yeah, I love it. Um, when Rachel plays like that, there's such a high percentage that we're going to win the game. Like, she's just such a strong player and all around. Um, she has so many elements to her game, and like when she plays like that, you can just tell our team just lifts, everyone lifts, and so like credit to her. And I think she's got more of those games coming, like since her senior year. Jerry, let's talk about third quarter. Colorado State takes their first lead of the game, and then you guys go on a 13-0 run to seize it right back. You get all that momentum back. How'd you get that done? Good question. I'm gonna watch <laughs> tape, Jesse. <laughs> let's uh, watch right here together. Okay, let's watch. I know, uh, you know, basketball is all about momentum. Uh, you know, you, you, you score four to six, you hold them, you score another four to six, all of a sudden you get that 10 or 12 points on them. And, uh, you know, it's a combination. I think we hit a little bit of everything. I remember Steph Gorman hitting, hitting a big shot. Liza hit a big three right there. Uh, you know, Shannon's been our go-to player all line. I think she had a couple assists like right there. So it, it was a selection. We called some plays out. Um, we tried to get into the paint. And uh, Marlene, uh, I can't pronounce her last name, still can't after a year. <laughs> you and I, you and me both. <laughs> but this play right here, this this will go down in Utah State history, Eliza. That assist right there gave you the career, oh, nice. all-time <laughs> career assist record at Utah State. That's got to mean something, that assist we saw right there, the record breaker. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can't do it without my teammates, clearly. <laughs> so thanks, Shannon. <laughs> we always have this joke that whenever I pass her the ball, she misses it just so she can get an offensive board and doesn't give me the assist. But she did this time, so good timing. What's it like to play with something like that, Shannon, that is um, – that thinks about teammates, tries to set up things, direct traffic, not worried about getting hers, just making sure that you guys get the best shot possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. Um, <laughs> me and Liz always joke that, um, you know, she has this little thing in her head that she knows where I am, like that I want the ball. Like I can say something so quiet and she's like, oh, I know I'm going to, you know, <laughs> cut through here and kick it back to her. So it's really good that we have that um, yeah. connection. I think it goes really far. Well, we go from one record setter to another. I don't know if you know, but you now set the program record for – double doubles <laughs> in a single season you had eight or you had uh, 11 points 
15 rebounds. That's now 18 double doubles on the season. A new Utah State record. That is the most in the Mountain West. You had to get it done at the free throw line. This one was tough to get it, but you got it done. You're a record holder at Utah State. That's got to feel nice. Yeah, it does feel nice. Um, obviously, the win's more important than that, but um, these individual um, achievements obviously are a reflection of the team. So, yeah. Jerry, to have two selfless leaders here uh, representing your program, these two ladies right here on the court, obviously the production speaks for itself, record holders, but to come up here and represent your program in exactly the fashion that you would like, that means something about the program you have in Logan. We really do, Jesse. We, we pride ourselves on, on team chemistry, on, on low baggage, and uh, these two are very representative of it. Um, we, we've lost a lot of girls that transferred the last uh, four or five years. These girls have hang on to it. Rachel Brewster, Deja Mates are two seniors. And, and it's starting now through a developmental process. It's starting to kind of reward ourselves to it. And, and uh, you know, postseason is all about it. I think tonight uh, we'll just kind of got a little bit of the wrinkles out of the way, I hope. Yep. Uh, Wyoming's going to be a little bit tougher tomorrow night. But we're going to definitely savor this game for a couple hours and get ready for Wyoming tomorrow. Well, let's talk about Wyoming right now, if you don't mind. Sure. You guys taking on the Cowgirls, a team that had a great run. Talked to Coach Ligurski last night, and uh, this team even surprised him at how well they played. You saw them twice. You got them once. What's the secret to playing with the Cowgirls? Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be a close one. Uh, we beat them, uh, I think, you know, in a, in a way that, was, that wasn't dominating, but we controlled the game. Uh, they beat us the same way at their play. So now we're on neutral floor. Everything's even. Uh, really respect their three-point attack. Uh, Coach Joe does a great job with the continuity offense. Um, we're going to have to play one of our better games of the yep. season, just, just plain and simple. Shannon, real quick, how will you and your teammates uh, recover from this emotional win and get ready for the 8.30 tip, as you saw right there on the brackets? You got Wyoming tomorrow night late. Mm -hmm. um, well, definitely, as Coach said, we're going to you know, enjoy the moment for a couple of hours, but um, – yeah, it's tournament time. We knew that, you know, it's one game after the other. Quickly get in, you know, a recover recovery session, and then it's back to film and, you know, focus on the next game. All right. We'll take one last look at the bracket as we uh, send these ladies and Jerry Finkbeiner on their way. We'll reset what we saw here today. We're going to look ahead to, to uh, tomorrow. We had Nevada winning today. We had San Diego State winning today. And Utah State appreciate you guys. Good, Good luck tomorrow you, against the you, Cowgirls. Great you job. guys can get on your way and go celebrate with your <laughs> teammates. You. Appreciate it, Jess. Thank you. You bet. Here's the quarterfinal action you'll see right here on the Mountain West Network tomorrow. We're going to have Boise State against Nevada at 12 o'clock Pacific time, followed by Fresno State and UNLV. Then at 6 o'clock Pacific time, we'll have New Mexico and San Diego State. And then the nightcap, the team you just saw right here in a nail-biter, beat Colorado State, Utah State. We'll take on Wyoming in the 3-6 game at 830 Pacific time. Let's take a look at the final stats from this game that saw Utah State beat Colorado State. Your final here at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas, 62 to 59. Here's the numbers: a three-point victory, very even throughout. Saw multiple runs by both teams, 50% from the field for the Rams and the Aggies. Three-point percentage tilts a little bit, and uh, Colorado State's favor. That's a big reason they were to come back in this game, but the post play was outstanding behind Duffesey and Brewster for Utah State. 36 to 22 at the edge in rebounds. That's going to do it for the first day in the Thomas and Mack Center at the 2019 Air Force Reserve Mountain West Women's Basketball Championship Tournament. What a day it was here in Las Vegas. We'll be back tomorrow for quarterfinal action. For Tamara Brown and our entire crew here in Las Vegas, I'm Jesse Kurtz saying thank you for watching this presentation of the Mountain West Network. So long from Las Vegas.